you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. So EA have released a bunch of new SBCs. We have got an end of an era Robin Van Persie, which is actually a really nice looking card. However, five teams... That's probably going to be expensive, more expensive than it should be. Uh, we have got an EFL Tots guarantee, as I've just seen. We've got the Musa Sizoko SBC that's been released as well, with actually a very nice card. Although I have packed him. I packed him when uh, when that glitch happened where he wasn't available in packs, but his normal card was. I packed him then, so I'll be getting a free version of him. We've got an EFL Tots guarantee, but I don't see a team of the season most consistent guarantee anywhere. Exchange a team of the season for a player from the Tots squad EFL. I don't see a team of the season most consistent guarantee anywhere. Where? That's interesting. I, I'm not entirely sure if that's a mistake or if EA aren't releasing a most consistent tops pack today. Not entirely sure, but I don't see one literally anywhere. Uh, I'm going to back out, go back in, let's see. Is there a most consistent team of the season anywhere? EA? No? I don't think there is. Wow, okay, no most consistent team of the season, apparently. So all it requires is an 83 rated squad with 70 chemistry. That's pretty easy, in my opinion. I'm just going to throw a load of 83 rated players in here. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, like a Viviano in here. Maybe we should have gone Bundesliga. I don't actually know what I've got in my club. So uh, we're just going to wing it and throw whatever we have in the club in this SBC because... No, it is pretty easy, an 83 rated squad, and it's essentially a free team of the season player. I'm a little bit disappointed we don't get a most consistent team of the season uh, SBC, though. I really thought we would get a most consistent one as well as uh, an EFL one, but... I mean, if EA don't want to release a most consistent one, they obviously will have a reason for it, surely. So, pretty interesting, though. So here it is, the EFL Team of the Season player has been completed. We do get ourselves a free EFL Team of the Season player for this. Uh, it's pretty cheap, to be honest. An 83 rated squad with 70 chemistry. It's not difficult at all. This is like, there's no room for changes here. Like, this is the the bog standard 83 rated squad you can build. In my opinion, the cheapest way to build it. So it'll probably cost you about 35, 40k, maybe something like that. But in my opinion, for a free Team of the Season player, it's not bad. Because I think later down the line, we are going to get ourselves, um, for example, a Premier League Team of the Season guarantee that will require a team of the season player so it'd be beneficial to get as many team of the season players as you possibly can now we do have the Suzoko SBC as well and it's going to be an 83 with one team of the week and an 84 with one team of the week I think that's a bit expensive in my opinion um they should have released that a lot cheaper because a lot of people have packed his normal card anyway and will be getting his normal card for free so I don't know it seems a bit expensive and I do want to quickly check the requirements for Omban Percy so um an 84 rated squad, another 84 rated squad, a 75 rated squad, an 84 rated squad, and a 77 rated squad. No informs. It's not expensive as a first, first thought. It's probably going to be about 90, 100k, something like that. But, I mean, it's all right. Maybe it's a little bit more than 100k, actually. But it's, it's all right, to be fair. But it's 70 stamina just lets him down completely. I don't think it's going to be that usable unless you're bringing him on for the last 30 minutes. So, let's get the EFL Tots guarantee opened and open it up on some other people's accounts as well. Because, you know what? It's going to be pretty dope. So here we go. EFL Team of the Season player. In terms of the ones we'd want, uh, Tammy Abraham, Bowen, McGinn, any of the 86, 87 rated players obviously would be fantastic. Um, in terms of usable ones, there isn't a whole lot of usable ones. I think Tammy Abraham looks all right, to be fair. I think Stevens looks pretty good as well. Uh, so anyone that is a walkout would be very beneficial, to be honest. They're the ones that we want. So without further ado, let's open it. Here we go. Come on, EA. Show us a walkout, please. It is a walkout. Okay, that's good. That is actually a very good sign. All right, we've got a walkout team of the season. What are we going to get? It's going to be English striker, goalkeeper. Who is this? I actually don't know who this is. It's going to be Henderson. He seems to get in team of the season like every single year for AFL team of the season. Like he always gets in team of the season. I recognize him from like last year or the year before. So 84 rated. It's not as good as I was hoping, but you know what? It's not horrendous. At least it's a walkout and it will be useful for future team of the seasons, uh, SBCs and whatnot. So you know what? I'll take that. Let's go and open some more. Now we've got Sam's Team of the Season EFL Tots player. Uh, I just said Team of the Season EFL Tots player. Guaranteed a Team of the Season EFL player. Um, of course, Sam, we open rewards for all the time. He's rocking a first owner road to glory. So I can't see a single player from the EFL Tots getting into his squad because he's got a fantastic squad considering he's got a first owner road to glory. But you know what? 
there's always potential, I guess. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a nice bench player or something like that. If we can get a walkout again, that'd be great. Like I said, um, I think that the Premier League team of the season and the Bundesliga team of the season, the Serie A team of the season, guaranteed packs, will all require team of the season players for the SBC. So any decent team of the season from this and from like objectives and whatnot, they're always beneficial getting. So let's see what we can get. Then again, it is only an 83 rate squad and it is a walkout as well. So that is a very good start. Come on, EA. Show us something decent, please. It's going to be Irish. Striker Collins, I think. Is it Collins? Hey, we got Collins. I don't know if Sam did the objective for his player of the year card, but I will say it's actually a decent card in game. His player of the year card is fantastic, and I think these mimic the exact same stats the team this season does. 97 jumping, 97 heading accuracy on a six foot two player with 93 stamina and 96 strength is actually phenomenal. If you guys haven't used this guy, he is fast, but he wins so many headers, it's actually crazy. So very, very good card, and I think uh, I think in terms of a super sub, I don't actually know who Sam's got for super subs. Let me quickly double check. But you know what? That might be a very good super sub. Um, who does Sam have on the bench? Okay, so he's got a lot of good players. But you know what? That could easily replace Jamal Lowe or Odegaard easily. Fantastic card there, in my opinion, as a super sub for a striker. So, let's go and open some more. We've completed Simon's now. Simon's was done pretty much the exact same way. Mine was done with the same formula. So, we're going to go ahead and open up Simon's now. Of course, we do open rewards on Simon's account a lot. So, uh, it'd be decent to get something good for Simon too. If you want to see what Simon's team is looking like. He has got a very nice team as well. He's just finished doing Eusebio. He's got Socrates. He's got Henri. He's got Ibra, Balak, Bale. Unreal team. That right back Aurea as well is untradeable. He's had that since the start the game almost and i tell you what what a player to pack from like early days to get up to 90 rated fantastic so let's open up simon's efl tots player pack now and see if we can get him something good come on EA. show us a walkout please I knew at least one of them wouldn't have a walkout. I knew one of them wouldn't, but there's still some good players it could be, maybe. No, there's not. There really isn't. It's going to be... Who, who is this? It's going to be Walker. I mean, 92 pace. That's something, right? <laughs> He's got 92 pace, I guess. Um, let's have a look what his stats are looking like. 92 pace. Shooting-wise, I mean, 84 finishing is a bit meh. Um, 84 jumping on a 5 foot 10 card, okay, 81 stamina, yeah, it's a pretty awful card to be fair, but it's a team of the season that you can use in a different SBC, I guess, so it was only an 83 rated squad at the end of the day, and a lot of players are untradeable, I guess, so silver lining, sort of, right, anyway, let's go and open another one, now, from what I'm hearing, it's only 20,000 coins to complete the EFL team of the season SBC, and in my opinion, to get a team of the season player, it's pretty worth it, in my opinion, like, most of the team of the seasons are about 20,000 coins, I think, Pretty much the cheapest ones are roughly around that price. So, in my opinion, not really losing anything. You're getting the same value back from the play that you would get. So, uh, I think it's worth it to complete this SBC if I were you. 83 rated squad is pretty easy. I know a lot of people have untradeable 83s and 82s and whatnot in their clubs from rivals as well. So, you could probably complete it cheaper than 20,000 coins as well. So, in my opinion, to get a value card, that you may even get lucky and hit a walkout, get an 86, 87 rated card. It's worth it, in my opinion. So, let's open up Dan's... EFL team of the season player now. Let's see if we can get him a walkout. End this on a walkout. Come on, EA. Can we end this on a nice walkout? Yes, we can. Come on. Let's see an 87. Come on. Let's get the highest rated one. Right here. Come on. It's going to be Irish. Striker. It's going to be another Collins. You know what? It's an 86 rated card at the end of the day. And it's a very good card as well in terms of super sub. Um... I know Dan's been wanting to change his squad up. I'll show you it in just a second. Dan's been wanting to change his squad up, and I think that this could be a very good super sub for his squad. Like, not even kidding. That card is very good, and I think it'd be a great uh, a great super sub. If you're looking at Dan's squad, by the way, it's a pretty phenomenal squad. So stick him on the bench there, and uh, and I think you'll have a very nice super sub. He probably will play very much like Cliver. Very tall, great at heading, good finisher on the ball, fast. I think that'll be a very good uh, a very good play. And, uh, and as you could probably tell, a very nice theme. Uh, Dan supports QPR. So, that is it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.